Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're flying from San Francisco to Chicago on United Airlines Polaris class. Take a look. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, welcome aboard United Airlines 787-8 Dreamliners and we are in the Polaris class. So which means this is probably one of the best hard product in the US domestic market with a robust in-flight entertainment system, life flight bed, and it even asked me to pre-book my meal which wasn't the case last year when I flew from San Francisco to Sydney so I'm quite excited to see how it compares to the international long haul lake because after this flight I'll be soon taking another one from Chicago all the way over to Zurich. So the 787-A has a configuration of one, two, one in Polaris class with a total of 28 seats. Every passenger gets their own direct aisle access, which is quite superior in the US domestic market. All right, so we've been delayed for 15 to 20 minutes. So I thought this is a perfect opportunity to go over some of the features, uh, the seats. Uh, I can tell you what I like and why I don't like and leave a comment down below if you feel the same. All right, so first of all, the seat is very spacious. Uh, this is definitely a long haul product, not a short haul product. And our flight today is only three and a half hours. So it's such a treat to have a Dreamliner uh, flying your flight today. Uh, anyways, so one of the things that I really like is the charging port right over here. And they actually have two. The other one's conveniently located right over here next to the armrest and next to this table right here. So if you're actually going to charge your phone you can just rest it right here and then we have ample storage as well so if you press the push button right here there's actually a lot of storage in there it definitely can fit an iPad um, and obviously the uh, uh, headphones are in there uh, over here we have reading lights uh, very good very standard and coat hanger over here so one other good thing that i really like is the table it's actually super sturdy so let me take it out for you and it's very sturdy and you can definitely do work on this table Okay, so let's go on to things that I don't like. Um, so I really don't like having the seat controlled over here on the side, right next to my leg and my arm because it's really easy to just touch it inadvertently and my seat setting would change. Uh, it, I had that happen to me on my flight from San Francisco to Sydney last year. My seat just kept on moving. It's really funny, but uh, anyways. Also the partition as well. As you can see, this is a great partition. You don't see your neighbor except for their forehead uh, <laughs> but that's okay but again it's right next to the armrest so it's really easy to activate it i activated it twice already so that's kind of an inconvenience the footwell is pretty good we are in a bulkhead seat so i think this footwell is just for bulkheads um i actually don't quite remember but i, I will find out tomorrow because tomorrow i don't have a, a bulkhead seat so we'll see if the footwell is uh, this deep so let me just stick my foot in there even with my bag yeah as you can see this is quite spacious yeah there you go and we have another storage right down there uh, you can put your shoes if you want to take off your shoes uh, if you want to put your bag down there uh, you can definitely do that do, are, are we supposed to uh, take off our shoes on an airplane leave a comment down below um, I, I know there's a debate about it what do you think uh, Personally, I uh, I don't care. <laughs> My feet don't smell anyway. So coming back over here, we do have an old school uh, control. It's an older style remote control, and but I don't think anyone really use it anymore, other than maybe kids playing on the IFE because uh, the IFE is touchscreen. Yeah, and we do have a very very robust in-flight entertainment system so you definitely won't be bored for sure 
Alright, so I'm gonna activate the bed mode and let's see what it looks like. Alright, not bad, not bad. It's not claustrophobic at all. We've got a lot of space. So let me turn the camera around to show you guys. Alright, so got a lot of shoulder space right here on this side too. And footwell is good too. There you go. A lot of room. Very good. Can definitely fall asleep here. And maybe I'll just take a nap when we wait. <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't sleep because they didn't give out beddings for a 3-hour flight. But they did give out sanitizing wipes and noise-canceling headphones. And soon after takeoff, we got another round of drinks along with warm nuts. Speaking of nuts, let's talk about food. So I was able to pre-order my meal for this flight, which is a barbecue chicken with pasta and broccoli. It also came with bread, cheesecake, and salad. And the service was quick and efficient. United Airlines often get criticized for their catering and service, but honestly, I think this flight was okay. The main course was actually pretty good and the service was actually warm. I enjoyed both the hard product and the soft product. Not long after that, we started our descent into Chicago. All right, guys, so we just got into the hotel. So what did you guys think about the flight? You know, did you guys like it? Did you guys not like it? Once again, leave a comment down below. If you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you and I'll see you again next time. Bye.